Hello, Liz I mean. So last week I showed you guys how I used this powder right here as my DIY hair growth oil. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys another recipe on what I do with this powder or different ways I use this powder as another hair growth recipe. Let's get into it. So for our ingredients for today, we're using rice. Rice is great for a natural solution for hair growth. And here are three reasons why, okay, listed on the screen. So you can use any type of rice. You can use brown rice. You can use black rice. You can use white rice. I'm, a, I'm using white rice today. I usually use brown rice, but right, white. Ugh, gosh. White rice was what we had in my cabinet, and that's what I am using to make this hairspray. So first you want to do is, I can't talk. Sure, day, what's wrong? The first thing I like to do is I like to rinse my rice. I clean it very well, and I clean it with cold water, not hot water. After you're done cleaning it, you want to put it in a mason jar. This is another way I like to make sure that it's clean and rinse very well all the dirt and product whatever comes with the rice while they're you know producing it all that nasty stuff is out i like to pour water as my way of seeing if it's rinsed well or not if it looks like this that means it's not rinsed well so what i like to do is i will close the mason jar and i shake it out very well and then i rinse it again and once i rinse it again i pour water again inside the mason jar and it looks like this you want your water to look like this okay crystal <laughs> clear like this i like to let it sit in the cabinet for 72 hours just because for me in my mind i feel like it really you know gives it what it needs so i pour it inside of a spray bottle the disrespect I use my as I am rice water spray bottle. <laughs> you get it. But yeah, I tried out the rice water spray bottle and I wasn't really a fan, so I rather stick to creating my own. No hate, but I would just rather do that. So and then I add my leaving my growth oil inside of the bottle. If you haven't watched the video, I'll leave it down below. This is what you do not want to do. The residue that you have from the powder you don't want to add that thickness inside of the rice water only because it's going to be really hard for you to spray the water on your head um but you can do this if you're doing a pre-poo method usually when i'm doing a pre-poo method i use the residue of my growth oil and i just put it on my hands and i place it on my head make it make sense okay <laughs> but that's what i like to do with my rice water Sometimes I use it as a pre-poo method. Sometimes I use it as an everyday use, which is I spray it at night before I go to bed. And also I spray it in the morning every night. Um, one thing I will rec I will say, and I recommend, I will say is you only want to use this white rice water for five or seven days. Because after five to seven days, the water goes bad. So think of it as spoiled milk. If you leave it out for five to seven days, you, you don't want to drink it no more. Perfect example, this rice water right here, I created this rice water on Tuesday because I left it overnight for 72 hours. So Tuesday was the day that I was able to use it. That means after seven days is up, I will have to rinse this bottle out and create another one that I will use the following week. So yeah, that's about it. If you are curious to know how I use this as a pre-poo or just a regular everyday, definitely watch my vlogs because that's where you'll see more of that. All right, thank you. Bye.